for some, saying goodbye is easier said than done. Just ask Jeep. Despite the arrival of this all-new, second-generation 2017 Jeep Compass crossover SUV, the brand will keep selling the first-generation Compass also as a 2017 model before sending that decade old due to the great scrap heap in the sky. Consumers may be confused. We, however, are happy to bid adieu to the lackluster first-generation Compass, as well as its boxier twin, the Jeep Patriot. Like its predecessor and short-term stablemate, the new Compass fits into the 15.4-inch overall length gap between Jeep Sui Renegade and its mid-range Cherokee crossovers. If this hair-splitting strategy seems a bit odd, know that the Compass also is intended to serve as a volume seller in many global markets for which the Cherokee is simply too large. Unlike the sad sack first-generation Compass, though, the redesigned crossover looks and feels like it belongs on the same showroom floor with those rigs. Built on the small wide 4x4 architecture that underpins the bug-eyed renegade, the new Compass doubles down on the mini Grand Cherokee looks that the original Compass tried to adopt in its 2011 model year refresh. The new one is more handsome and better proportioned with its slab sides complemented by an attractive shoulder-line kick and a pseudo-floating roof. The latter is painted a contrasting black on the $29,690 Trail Hawk, the black roof treatment also is available on the $25,390 Latitude and $30,090 Limited trim levels but not on the base $22,090 Compass Sport. As with most modern Jeeps, the Compass is liberally endowed with Easter eggs including a molded plastic gecko at the base of the windshield and an imprint of the Loch Ness Monster at the bottom of the rear window. Inside, the new Compass supplants the old one's low-rent interior with modern wares that recall the interiors of the costlier Jeep Cherokee and Grand Cherokee in both design and material quality. Brittle feeling control stocks and door panel switch gear, though, are shared with the cheaper Renegade. Replacing the old Compass's dated multimedia systems are a trio of Uconnect touchscreen units that measure 5.0, 7.0, and 8.4 inches, the largest also available with navigation. As with the Uconnect systems found in other Fiat Chrysler products, the 8.4-inch unit we played with was quick to respond to touch inputs and easy to use. A handful of hard buttons located near the back controls ensures that even the least tech-savvy operators can complete basic multimedia commands. At 173.0 inches long, the new 2017 Compass overshadows the Renegade by 6.4 inches. An additional 2.6 inches between the Compass's axles imbues the crossover with 3.2 inches more rear legroom than its smaller sibling. More impressive is the 27 